Welcome back, everybody. This is the final elite trail I'm going to take, and you know what? I'm still standing. I'm still alive. So, <laughs> not by much, but let's see how it goes. Diving right in. After the last episode, I battled a bunch of trainers, so this one starting right off with the elite trial. Let me just hit that here and double check the audio recording, and we're good to go. Welcome to the Coastal Plaza. We're the team that supports Miss Lacey of the Elite Four. And you're Nita Marquis, right? One of the BB League challengers? Yeah, well, she'd do me a solid and, you know, hit me up for the, the cost here. You'll, are you willing to pay? I am, of course, willing to pay. Of course, uh, you know, Drayton was a real bro and took care of the cost for me. I'm just saying. But thank you very much. Duly received and noted. We need you over here, Miss Lacey. Hey, Lacey. Coming. I'm juggling trying to play with my cat at the same time. Oh, if it isn't Nita Marquis, I'm glad you decided to pay me a visit. Please follow me. I'll show you to the trial site. My cat's going crazy over here playing fetch, and he started right as I hit the recording button, so... <laughs> Alright. Nothing to fear here yet. Thank you for coming to the Coastal Plaza to challenge me, and I really am sorry about the way I protested you joined the BB League. Of course, it's true that this is quite irregular under the bylaws of our school clubs. Oh yeah, that's right. You uh, Now I have a reason to hate you. I forgot that you didn't want me in the league. But mainly, I didn't want you to get dragged into the drama that's been troubling the club lately. I suppose our trial has already officially begun, though, so let's go to it and have some fun. The trial I came up with is a Pokemon quiz. Ooh, we're going back to Blaine here. One sec. I had to throw up my cat's ball again. I'll ask you five questions about Pokemon. If you can answer all of them correctly, then you pass. It is. It literally is Blaine's trial. Or Blaine's uh, gym, really. Are you ready to attempt the quiz? I'm ready. You're talking to a Pokemon master. I'll get everything ready. Elite trial. Test your knowledge in the Pokemon quiz. Question one. All right, here we go. And it looks like everyone's favorite Pokemon Pikachu is here to help. And with that, question one. Pikachu is an electric-type Pokemon well-known for producing electricity within its own body. And I have a cat ball to throw. But in which uh, part of its body does it store the electricity it generates? Go, go right to the body part you think is correct. I love... <laughs> I love the the stance she has. What part does it store its electricity? Definitely its cheeks. <laughs> yeah, I think they can hear you on the mic. Ding, ding, ding. You got it. I don't know where he threw his ball. Pikachu stores its electricity in the electric sacks in its cheeks. If you poke the sacks, you'll get a little shock, but don't think that they're just super cute, or er, round and cute. Now then, I think we're ready to move on to our next quiz question. I gotta find my cat's ball, hang on. Take a look at Venonet here. It's bigger than you would think it is, but it's also fluffy, and squeezable, and terribly adorable, really. So here we go with question two. Even on the darkest of nights, Venonet is able to use a certain part of its body like a radar, which allows it to detect its surrounding objects. Cat ball. Okay, what part of Venonet's body acts like a radar? My cat literally picked the best time for this. If I get them wrong, do I... Because I was going to say I probably should be doing battles, but... Hey, move. There you go. That's close, but incorrect. I'll give you a hint. I think what we're looking for is quite large part of its body. What, its eyes? I thought it was always the antennae. Ding, ding, ding. That's right. It's Venonat's big eyes that serve as a radar. Isn't Venonat even more adorable when you think about how it sees the world that we can't see? Honestly, I thought it was the antenna, man. Now then, I think we're ready to move on to our next quiz question. So I got it wrong and I didn't fight anybody.
getting wary of my quiz, how about a cup of tea, or maybe three? Here's the question. Sinisty likes to live in precious antique teacups. But there are a lot of phonies out there. It's hard to tell which cups are genuine antiques. One of these three is an antique form Sinisty, meaning it found a real antique cup. Which Sinisty has the real deal? Cat ball. Okay, sorry. Well, how am I supposed to tell that? Oh, it's not you. Okay. Not you, so it's you. Ta-da! Ruled him out. Ding, ding, ding. You spotted it. That's right. An antique sinisty form, or an antique form sinisty can be recognized by the mark on the bottom of its cup. But it doesn't matter whether they're antique form or phony form. They're all so darn cute. Well then, next quiz question. This is the Meteor Pokemon Minior. It comes in all kinds of different colors, you know. I'll a for I'll first ask you to make a good or to take a good look at this pinkish Minior for me, okay? All right, guys, mix yourself up real good. I have a cat. Which of these is the pink one? And another cat ball to throw. Ding, 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 you did it. Even after they returned to their meteor form, you still managed to find the right one. Aren't Minior adorable? Their, their coloration varies based on what they eat. Now then, I think we're ready to move on to the last question. Final question. Oh, look, here comes Granville. Maybe it heard the word pink and decided to stop by. This little sweetie is one of my own Pokemon, always with me. Oh, so now I know what you're going to use. Our last question, question five, will involve Granbull, who is a fairy normal type now, or just fairy, or I'm, I'm not even sure what type this thing is anymore. <laughs> Granbull is a quiet, delicate, and lovable Pokemon, of course, but can you tell me this? Catball. All right. Oh my god, he just ran into the closet. When I take a nap with my adorable Gramble, which part of its body do I use as a pillow? Well, that's hilarious. I got the answer from that Elite Club guy. That's hilarious. <laughs> I mean, I could have guessed that too, but still. You don't sleep on its face. Ding, ding, ding. That's exactly right. I use that soft, adorable tummy. When I cuddle up to it, it's soft and cozy. We both just fall asleep in seconds. And that's the end of my quiz. You managed to get all five questions right. Well, I'm kind of confused. I got one of them wrong, actually. Congratulations, Nina Marquis. You've officially cleared my elite trial. And throwing a cat ball. I wonder if you guys can hear any of this. My cat going crazy over here having fun. Why don't we head back to the plaza? Oh, man. Final one. Since you passed my elite trial, you've earned the right to challenge me in a battle. But what do you want to do now? Ready to move straight into it? No, no, not at all. No problem. I'll be here ready when you are. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I need to finish up. Uh, I need to get some coffee, and I need my cat to finish playtime because he's running around like crazy. I got to focus on a battle, buddy. Not only that, I have to get my team ready. So give me just one second. Well, you know what they say. Here goes nothing. I'm they, by the way. What's up, Nina Marquis? Are you ready to battle me now? Let's do this thing, Lacey. Got it. No time to waste, then. Let's get into our positions. Okay, this should be about far enough. Let me properly introduce myself for this. I am Lacey of the Elite Four. I really didn't expect I'd get a challenge from someone like you, Nita Marquis. Rightfully, you do belong to a different school. Honestly, I'm still a bit shocked, but I won't let my personal feelings get in the way of our battle. So, uh, let's see. First of all, I should tell you I mostly use fairy-type Pokemon. There's just nothing like an adorable pink fairy, right? They're weak to poison and steel. Anything too caustic or cutting just doesn't suit them. Oh, but you must... Yeah, I already do. 
Now, for this battle, I'm not going to hold anything back. I want to be sure you walk away with a proper understanding after all. You're about to learn that cuteness is a real strength. Adjusts the headband, and here we go. The final Elite Four member, Lacey of the BB League. Let's do this thing. We're doing this. Granbull and Whimsicott. So, there is a thousand percent chance I'm going to see... This time, I'll be facing you with my usual party members as a member of the Elite Four. I'm going to be seeing a Tailwind Cotton Guard thousand percent by that little Whimsicott right there. Um, all right, let me think here. So, uh, I can't decide what I want to do. Because a grass move would actually destroy Cosmic Void. Let's set up the Stealth Rock anyway. If you sacrifice, you sacrifice. But I'm going to try to go for a premature, like, sh he who strikes first wins. You are faster than my Raven. You're literally, oh my god, you used a freaking light screen, too. I could have set up the Reflect there. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what Gramble is going to have, because Gramble can have, like, anything. It's a rock-solid strategy to go after weaknesses, which is why I'll be turning it right back on you. Gramble can have pretty much any type, like, and plus, now that he's a fairy type, I don't even know what exactly his competitive setups are. Let's see what he goes for. Play rough. Ooh, that's not good. That is not good at all. All right, so now the question is, um, the play rough can... Do I go for a reflect, or what do I do here? Whimsicott is going to totally set up a... Let, let's go Confuse Ray and Protect. Minior goes first with that Quick Claw. Land the... Or rather, the Protect. Land the Confuse Ray. Let's get Gramble confused. And I feel like Tailwind is coming out, and I really wish I had Trick Room right now. Raven could have used Trick Room. That would have been really good. Although, at the same time, right now, I need to protect whatever's coming out. Moonblast, you did not go for a Tailwind. You ate the bait, which, hey, you know what? That's good. Granbull, do you hit yourself in confusion? Do you go after Raven? That's another question. You do hit yourself in confusion. Okay. All right. Interesting start so far. I'm thinking... I'm going to try to Mystical Fire Whimsicott, um, and to do that, or maybe we go for, no, we don't go for Double Protect, but yeah, you know what we go for? We go for the first healing item. I hate to have to heal this early, but one of three healing items out now, and let's go Reflect, actually. You know what? Let's try to play it smart here. Heal you up and go for Reflect. You're not going to outspeed Whimsicott, but if Whimsicott's using Moonblast, I'm the other Pokemon now. Went for Cosmic Void. It thought I was going for Protect again. You thought I still had the guts to go for Double Protect after all of that, huh? Come on, I dare you. I dare you. Hit yourself. Play rough. All right, through the... Oh, my God. Dude, he just murdered Raven. <laughs> Oh, no, I tried so hard to keep Raven alive this entire time. I can't believe he just killed Raven. You were alive for two Nuzlocks, and a crit kills you. That was not supposed to happen. Typhon, we got to go in. We got to go in, and we got to go in now. Typhon, what do I want to do with Typhon? I think... I think we go for Confuse Ray on Whimsicott, and Typhon goes for Iron Defense. Yeah, let's go for Iron Defense. I'm going to try and set you up here. Tailwind, there it is. So hopefully you can get the Confuse Ray out on Whimsicott. Yep, now you're going to outspeed. If you hit Minior, this is over. Stomping Tantrum, you go for a super effective ground attack on me, which is exactly why I'm going to go for Iron Defense. The only problem I've got now is that Whimsicott could probably attack Typhon and, and sneak in and attack. That'll kill him really quickly. I can't believe I lost Raven, dude. Oh, my God. I feel, I feel this is the worst way to start the match is to lose one of my favorites. All right. Um, boy, you are... Let me see. You've got defense and special defense. I guess let's set you up, too. And Typhon goes for the... Double Iron Defense. Whimsicott's going to try to attack you. I don't know what's going to have a Moonblast. It's going to have Moonblast. And it hit itself in the face, which is finally a stroke of luck. Granbull's out of confusion. 
Stopping Tantrum won't do much, but it's going to do even less when I'm done with this. Unfortunately, with your Tailwind, I, I have to actually use a healing item here. I can't use Rest because Whimsicott's going to go for the kill on you. I mean, I got the Cosmic Power. At least, uh, you know, my defense is o okay over there, too. Light Screen's out for you, so this is good in the regards that... You know what? Let's uh, Do I Confuse Ray Granbull or go for the kill on Whimsicott? And you know what I do? I I use a healing item on you. Was that two, by the way? Yeah, that's two healing items, actually. Let's go for Flash Cannon and try to take it out. What is she doing? <laughs> All right, Granbull hopefully will not attack, and Minior can stay alive. Uh, Minior can be dropping Confuse Rays throughout this whole thing. I need that Tailwind to stop before she gets a chance to drop another Tailwind. Then I can preemptively try and go for it. In fact, if anything, Granbull, if you would mind taking Cosmic Void down to half to where I can speed up that Pokemon a little bit. Or just punch yourself in the face. I like when you do that. Moonblast. Hits Typhon. Not very effective. Here we go. Ice Punch. Oh, hey. Okay, there you go. I needed that, actually. Perfect. Now I'll, uh, I'll, oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I don't know when, uh, when the shell's down, or, uh, uh, shields down or shells down or whatever that is. When does that when does that proc? Shields down. There we go. Shields down. Perfect. Whoever's coming out, you're about to get confused. I'm not too scared of Grand Bull at the moment. Slow bro. Ooh, that shell sidearm is definitely something I'm afraid of. So let the hazard dig into you. Let the confuse ray take you out, and then definitely uh, let's go. Do I want to go heavy slam on you? This is going to be a tough call. I think we go for Flash Cannon, though. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to take him out. This, he's going to be a tough one, but hopefully he gets confused and, and hurts himself. And then Ice Punch. Oh, I thought I was going to hold that off. All right, well, Cosmic Void leaves us with just the confusion on Slowbro. That's your departing gift. Flash Cannon with my special attack? Dude, I, I this should hurt pretty well. It's decent. It's decent. I'll, I can live with that. Special Defense is down, so you're, de you're dead the next one. But you had a Citrus Berry, so now i got to waste time attacking you. And I think I know exactly who I want to waste my time attacking you with. I still can't believe I lost Raven. The two that I didn't want to lose are Raven and, and Duraludon. And uh, Duraludon and Raven were literally... There goes the Reflect. The two... Finally, the Tailwind's gone. Those are the two I didn't want to lose. I think we go Leviacy. And the question is, you outspeed everything. Do I go for Hydro Pump on you? And the answer is yes. We attack, we attack, we attack right now. Full on assault. You actually outsped, so this Hydro Pump is going to hit Granbull. Oh no, actually this isn't going to take you out. Oh, it does take you out. Nice. All right. Decent... Decent start outside of the fact that I lost one of my favorites. And that does a decent amount of damage as well. That also does a decent amount of damage, and I'm not particularly happy about that. There we go. Citrus Berry, we're good. And Primarina is next. So definitely, you know what I'm going to do here? Stones dug into Prime Arena. We're going to go Protect on you and try to bait it out. And then Flash Cannon on Prime Arena. Let's go. Come on. Go for it. You know you want to take that Seedra out. You, you can just feel the itch. You want to kill that thing. And I outspeed. Okay. That's decent damage right there. That is decent. Your special defense is down. So that's what killed... Uh, I forgot. That's, did you miss? No. You went for the Protect. Nice. I could have swore if you were going for Moonblast, you were going for what used to be a dragon type. Oh! Oh, you guys, dude. Double, look at this. You control the speed, you control the battle. Hydro Pump kills you, Flash Cannon kills you, and no one's going to miss. Yeah, here we go. Prime Arena is done. I forgot that your special defense was lowered. That's what took out Slowbro. Hydro Pump lands. Double kill. Double kill. And now I can bait out a Protect on Seedra. Do you have two Pokemon left or one? You have Alchemy. Okay. Alchemy and who? Excadrill. What a pick. Ooh, you're going to be using... No, you're not. You're going to... 
Wait, who's... Oh, Alchemy's going fairy type. That's definite for sure. So you're going to be using Earthquakes. Uh, the question is... Do I preemptively go for Hydro Pump on him, or which one's Terrastalizing? I don't know which one to expect the Terrastalization from. Let's go Protect. I'm worried. What if she goes for uh, the Terrastalization on you? Alchemy, what are your stats? I don't like looking stats up. I, I like going off my memory, but Alchemy is not a physical defensive one, right? Let's go for Flash Cannon on Alchemy because you're so all eyes on our big, our, our great big terrestrial heart. Time to get even cuter and cuter. Who's going fairy? Who's, who is it? Who's going to be the one? Who is it? It's Excadrill. I am so glad I didn't go for a Hydro Pump on Excadrill. He would have terrestrialized and then I'd be dead. You're going to go for Seedra. There's no way you don't go for Seedra. It is so tempting. That itch was already scratched once. You tried to go for the kill. You're going to try it again. Outspeed Alchemy. High horsepower. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so you do outspeed. I don't know who if you're going to outspeed Seedra, but you definitely outspeed Duraludon. All right, let's see how hard this hits. Oh, that's a good hit. Am I going to get out of this with only losing two Pokemon? But one of them was my favorite, man. All right, so the question is, what is your speed? 181, 191, so he outspeeds both of these. So we're going to need to switch into a, 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 a flying type. And then let's, uh, let's attack with Flash Cannon on the Fairy type. So watch this. High horsepower into a flying type, and then Flash Cannon kills. And if not, Tucannon actually has Protect as well, just in case I'm worried. Doesn't affect Eerie. Land that flash cannon. Yes. One shot. One shot. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. One shot. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that was that was so bad that I lost Raven. And I feel horrible because I wanted Raven to go all the way. But Lacey, you didn't get that far with any of my Pokemon. You, you bit the dust. I hate losing, but I love seeing such cute Pokemon. Dude, the Duraludon show. Welcome, everybody, to the Duraludon show. Nita Marquis, Nita Marquis, did you see? Did you see our Pokemon battling it out? Ooh, it's almost too much. They were just too cute, even for me. Um... Nope, wrong. We're not talking about me. We're talking about my Pokemon. <laughs> Shot down. Shot down, man. Your Pokemon were very cute as well. Phew. You know, it's just not right for two people to hog all this cuteness between them. You just said we were talking about our Pokemon, by the way. Why don't we wrangle up the Pokemon, the cute Pokemon here for a cute picture? En enough for the cute, actually. Lacey, I liked you. And then you just got a little too far invested into that whole cute, 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 cute thing. Like, too stereotypical for a fairy-type trainer. Which sucks because you took my fairy from me. And I got to dig a hole for that Pokemon now. Ooh, this one is just too cute. I'm going to make myself a backup copy or three. I'll give you this as well as proof of your cuteness. You just called me cute? We're totally flirting here. My character, of course. Alluring voice. Um, alluring voice. This user, er, this, the user attacks the target using its angelic voice. This also confuses the target if its, its stats have been boosted during the turn. That is so specific. I don't, I don't, that's got to be a new move. I don't know that one. You are really strong when you get serious in battle. I wonder how far you'll be able to get facing off against the strongest trainers in our school. Well, actually, as a matter of fact, I'll be keeping an eye on you and your progress. She's just going to walk away. I just finished off the Elite Four, and you're just going to walk? Look at that guy in four frames per second. He's over there. He's Yeah, he's still moving in four frames. Yo, 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 champ in the making. Guess you are almost a champ in the maid. That's because the BB League, or that's the BB League Elite Four all beaten. You schooled every elite one of us. Lacey's all about cuteness, and that's what helps her make her Pokemon stronger. She's so into her team, training the little cuties doesn't even feel like work to her. Wild, right? Yeah, she took my cute Pokemon away from me. 
I have to dig a grave now, and it's her fault. I bet it's the same for you, huh? You worked so hard because you like it. Unlike a certain someone who seems busy running himself and everyone around him into the ground just to get a bit stronger. You know, Lacey's polite to everyone else, but she's really blunt with me. I wonder why. Man, it's like I blinked and you plowed through the whole BB League. You do not know what it took to get to this point. You know what's next for you, right, bud? Kieran. You're good enough to beat all of us, or you're good enough to beat all Elite Four of us, so you and only you have the right to challenge the sitting BB League champion, Kieran. You really kept me waiting. Took a while to beat the Elite Four. Kind of slow for you, isn't it? Watch, he's going to be like, Took a while for you <clears throat> to beat the Elite Four because he's trying to keep that edgy voice going. If this guy was voiced in the anime, he would totally go like he'd switch voice actors or the voice actor would go from, Hi, I'm Kieran to, My name is Kieran. <laughs> You've really got Nita Marquis on the brain, huh? I could say the same thing about you, Drayton. You sure are putting a lot of effort into helping Nita Marquis out. Who wouldn't help a new student out? Gotta be good to our fellow humans. That's rich coming from you. Whatever you're planning, it's about to come to an end. Nito Marquis, let's settle who's the strongest between us two once and for all. Dude, I should totally use Ogre Pawn against you. It's just not a legal Pokemon to use. But I kind of want to do it because I bet there's some dialogue or something. It's finally time. I'm pumped for you. We'll have to sign you up at the front desk to get your championship match going. No sense in waiting around. Let's go. Uh, not right away, actually. I don't know. I think I'm going to wait. I'm not going to, yeah, let me, is there nothing else? Yeah, face off against Kieran. Do I really want to do both of those battles in the same episode? No, I don't because I need time, dude. I, I need time. First off, uh, these two are dead, and I'm going to show you what I have left to pick from. So th these don't count. These were in the teal mask. Baron, Soldier, Genorico, who, by the way, will probably be uh, trained up. Crab Abominable. And Esmeralda. Solid picks out of the crew here, but recall that two of these are literally shinies. That's why they're being used, is they're in the shiny category. Otherwise, I would only have these three left. So, unfortunately, these two are dead. And the underworld is so full, I don't have any, I don't have any space left. So, I mean, you're looking at the team, man. That's all that's left. Uh, what, what is helping me out is using Protect to bait out a ton of their moves. Baiting out moves is what is saving me here, man. All right, so now the question becomes, I've got four encounters in all of the areas, right? The coastal area... Let me double check that really quick. Let me just make sure I have no more encounters. I said four per area, so I'm going to stick to it. Four per area. Let me make sure that I have truly gotten four and none more. Well, unfortunately for me, I have confirmed that all four encounters in all four areas have been used. Therefore, 16 Pokemon have been acquired, plus two Shinies, plus one starter from the Teal Mask Nuzlocke. I have no more encounters left. Now, this is Central Plaza. Something I never showed. I've, I've used it in my regular Nuzlocke. I meant to post it at a, as its own video, but there is one more technique that I can possibly use. And that we're going to call that the Nido Marquee technique. And I'm going to show you how I might be able to get an encounter. I'll cut straight to it. All right, watch this. Flygon. Follow me. Follow me. Just a little bit further. Come on. All the way here. Check it out. All right, see this Flygon here? You may be wondering. You're like, wait a minute. What are you doing? Why are you catching Pokemon in an area that you said is off limits? After all, I did say only four encounters per every area in the terrarium. That was exactly my words, wasn't it? Ooh, he's confused. Even better. It'll make it easy to catch this thing. All right, Flygon, you ready? Hit yourself in confusion, I dare you. Just take yourself into the yellow. Earth power? Okay. Ooh, that is nasty, dude. That is absolutely nasty. Let's, let's switch before this actually gets me killed. Uh, I healed up my Pokemon, but I never actually changed the party, or I should say filled out the party. Not that it matters. It's a wild encounter that I'm pretty confident I'll be all right on. It is a Flygon, though. A very valuable addition to my team. Using Uproar. This is why I switched into Typhon. Caused an Uproar. All right, check it out. Flygon is making an Uproar. Now, you may be still considering, like, what are we doing here? Why is this? What is this doing in the recording? Two three stay in it let me demonstrate my friends
Roxas, you officially have a named Pokemon in the Nuzlocke. I pulled your name out of a random live stream chat, and that was the first name I saw. So check this out. What are you doing, Nito? Why are you doing this? What are you trying to accomplish? Well, here's what I'm trying to accomplish. I caught this Pokemon in the central plaza. Ah, welcome to the beauty of the Nito Marquee method. Officially, I stated four encounters per area in the terrarium. Well, guess what? The central plaza is in the terrarium, and I can show you right now. Check it out. Central plaza terrarium, which means I have four encounters here via the Nito Marquee method. I will see you guys in the next three encounters. Come on, Graveler, move. Come over here. Come a little closer. Tyrog, Tyrog, perfect. There we go. Tyrog literally is invisible. You can't even see Tyrog. Look at that. <laughs> Why are you invisible? This that happened already once. That happened to. Uh, I'm trying to remember what it was. I had another Pokemon that uh, it was. Uh, it was a Pokemon that. Uh, oh, Doxbun. It was uh, Doxbun. Doxbun was invisible when I encountered it. It ran into an area. So check this out. It turns out Tyrogue will be the encounter. I love how it put me up here, but check this out. Gene, you are on the team, and Gene is from the Central Plaza. <laughs> That's two encounters in Central Plaza, two more to go. If you start moving, then we're good to go. If you just stand there and stare, we're never going to get anywhere. Here we go. I believe you are definitely on the bounds of the central plaza, Runiclus. So, I don't know if I want to try and knock you down a little bit. I think I think we'll be alright just trying to catch you. You may be a fully evolved Pokemon, but you're a really unique typing. And Okay, maybe I am going to have to take you down a little bit. Pain split? You'll take yourself down. I'm good with that. Battlers shared their, uh, their pain. Really? Didn't even do anything to me. It just uh, uh, it took me down to your level. So hopefully you can attack me a few times. And then as you continue to attack me, Pain Split will work on us. Well, right now it's not going to work on us, is it? Look at you just sitting there using Pain Split. Runiclus, I could really use something with your typing. But you're going to stay in the ball in like two seconds here, if you would mind. Okay, perfect. Now hopefully you start dropping Pain Split. Now, the rules of the Nuzlocke, like I say, I've got one healing item on a wild battle. So, he's technically, you know what, future sight? All right, well, we could we could definitely be careful about this, but you don't you want to mess around. You want to you want to fight me. Stay in the ball. I don't need to weaken you. I do not need to weaken you. Skill swap? <laughs> well, actually, you know what? Wait a minute. Hold on. Now that uh, now that I have overcoat, you know what I could do? I know I'm going to eat a future site here in a sec, but uh, I can use Heavy Slam. Because now I don't weigh as much. See? <laughs> Actually, I probably... Well, now I'm going to weigh just as much as I did before. So you kind of did this to yourself, Runiclus. But uh, feel free to use Pain Split again. If I'm super low, maybe I'll actually increase. Future Sight, take the attack. And there we go. Alright, I'm going to try and catch you one more time. But if you use Pain Split right now, actually you weaken yourself. And I'm good with that. Two, three... Stays in the ball, not a problem, and I believe, if I am correct, even though you were moving really, really slowly, I think I caught you in the right area. Pretty sure I caught you right where I wanted you. Let's check. Central Plaza, Enigma, welcome to the team. That is three encounters. One more to go, my friends. Check it out. I found a Surviper. Just got to get him close, just a little bit closer. Come on, keep coming. Keep coming, just a little bit closer. You're almost there. Just a little bit more, said Viper. There we go, come on, just a little bit more. Just a little bit. I believe that should be good, said Viper. Let's do this, dude, another poison type, heck yeah. All right, so Viper is the catch. Um, I had to I had to cheat the coastal biome just a little bit. I had to use the upper entrance. That's how you know that you've completed the glitch when you can't see him when he's freaking invisible. 
That's how you know you got the glitch. I'm actually going to hit him with a gunk shot of my own. It's not even a glitch. It's just the needle marquee method. But it's good to confirm that you're on the right track because if he's invisible, which is weird that he was not originally invisible, but it's something about the textures trying to load out of its area that's causing a problem. Oh, that was a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. But yeah, you're going to be easy to catch now. Nice. All right, stay in the ball. Easy. I sometimes wonder if the game is going to crash. <laughs> I was just talking about that. Why are you in the same area as a Zangoose? So, Coastal Biome said Viper, and that should be it. So, thanks to a technicality, my team has been built up again. Just in case I need options, I have those options now. My friends, thank you for watching this Nuzlocke. What a great episode, dude. I lost Raven, and I feel horrible about that. But at the end of the day, not all is lost. I had only two deaths during that battle, and I got four Pokemon through another technicality, just like I did in the base Nuzlocke. Humble and proud, I am Nito Marquis, and I will see you for the Kirin battle, which I'm assuming is not the end. But if it is the end, then that's the end of the Nuzlocke. Thank you for watching.